Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about that UI Builder client state. So what is the client state and why we are going to use the client state that we are going to talk in our today's session. So if you watch my last session, what we actually did, we actually added these buttons, right? Whenever the button is getting clicked, a model header is printing right now. So what I'm going to do that, I'm going to print some number uh, into this here. Okay, so I want to print some specific information. If you see that, if I click any of this button, like this button, this button, or this button, okay, I am getting a static message called model header. So instead of this model header, uh, model header, what I want, I want to print some of the incident related information. For example, I want to print uh, this incident number with this short description, something like that. Okay, so let's do that. For that, what I'm going to use that I'm going to use a one of the important thing called client state. So let's see what is a client state. So if you see that in our UI builder, we have a one more component called uh, if I little bit up here, we have a client state parameter. What is the client state parameter? Let's talk first. So client state parameter is a page component or you can see the page variable. So like a variable client state parameter can hold uh, some variables value. So let's say that I'm going to click edit here and then you can create or you can define the client state parameter. For example, I am going to say that model uh, you can define that uh, in a uh, string format. What is the format of this client state you can define. For my case, it's a in string and initial value is um, blank. So that's what I have defined here. Okay, nothing major. Basically, you can assume that you have declared a variable called model record ID and that uh, that variable is a string variable. That's it. Nothing else. So this is what we have declared here. Now, if you go here and then check, you can check that client state. Uh, uh, this value initial value is blank and this is right now in a blank. Uh, I mean, this doesn't have any value. So what we want whenever this button, let's say that any of this button it clicked. I want to update this client state parameter with this record sysid. Okay. So for that, what we have to do, we can go to this our uh, lookup record. In this lookup record, we previously used the number and short description. We added one more column called sysid so that we can fetch the sysid. Okay. So we fetch the sysid. Now what we want here under this client state parameter, we have a model record. So whenever this button will be clicked. We just want to update this client state parameter. Okay. Why will come later. So remember that at that moment, whenever we are clicking this button, any of these four buttons, their CCID are different, right? So if I go back here, these are the four different incident and four different incident details. Now, whenever I click that any of this button, the client state parameter, or you can say the variable value should be updated with this current incident information or current incident CCID. Okay. So let's do that. To do or to achieve that, we will go to this um, button component. Um, so this is the button component or you can go and scroll this button component. Here we already have a options called open or close modal dialog. If you recall that if we click this button right now, this modal is opening. So what we are going to do that we are going to create one more handler. Or we, can, we can say that we are going to add one more event handler. So we'll click the plus sign. And if you click the plus sign under this page level event handler, you have a one option called update client state parameter. So we'll select that update client state parameter and we need to define or we need to select that value. The parameter name for our case is the model record ID and we need to define the value. What value we want to define? The value should be uh, from come, um, the value should be comes from the repeater. So we'll go and then click the value and then we'll uh, put the CCID and then value and then apply. So whenever you click that from the repeater, the value should be comes and apply that. So we'll click add. So we have a client state parameter and this is right now blank. If we click this button, this should be updated, right? So if we click that, this should be updated with latest value. So let's try that. Before that, I, I will just what I'll do, I'll add one more, uh, one more of before carousel, I will add uh, one more component here like before carousel to print that so what i'll do i'll print a stylized text and here i will print 
our client state parameter so we'll go and then bind that to client state parameter we'll go here we will select the client state parameter and this is the client state parameter we double click and apply so initial the client state parameter is blank and whenever the button will be clicked it should be updated with the csid so let's see now if we click the button there should be a csid print after hello admin let's see so you can see that the csid getting printed and its pop-up is up in, uh, presenting and then csid is printing so this way you understand that initially the client state or maybe the variable page variable have a blank value and whenever i'm clicking this button you can see whenever i'm clicking this button it is updating this client state or the csid right so it is working right now right what i will do i will remove this uh uh you know st stylized text uh I just want to add, I, I just added this for your demonstration purpose or your uh, showing that the value is getting updated or not. Now what I'll do, I'll add one more data source, I'll click here plus sign and then I will look up a single record. This time I'm going to look up a single record and I'll click that add sign. Okay, what should be the table name? Uh, let's see what we have defined here. The table name we hard coded as incident this time also we'll do that same thing so table name we will define that as incident and then what should be the record so record should be came up from um, you know dynamically so we'll go and then bring from the client state because client state will be have that csid right now so we'll define that now what should be the return value so we need uh, from the return we need the number three things we needed numbers uh, short description and state um, we can update that record so we'll say that so this will be going to query whenever the client state will be updated and it will be fetch a single record now whenever i'm clicking this button a modal opening right where whenever we are clicking that a modal opening inside the modal we want to print this incident information so let's do that so if i go and scroll up this is the modal under this modal we have added the stylized text so this we can reduce to that h4 and then modal header in the text we can put like dynamic text so let's put that we will get from the data resource the lookup incident record and then we will go to the result and then from there we will print that incident number first okay then this we this is our header and then body what we want we want to print um let's say that again some text so we'll print that text something so we will uh you know put some um stylized text again and the body we'll select none and here we will and let's save that so what we did that in this pop-up right now whenever a uh, uh, button or whenever you are going to click that there should be a there should print the incident information like state it should print that um, short description and description let's see so if we refresh there and click this button you can see that uh, i'm able to fetch that uh, this short description but i'm not able to fetch the number and not able to fetch this uh, state let's see why so we'll go here
okay save that and let's see um uh, it is working as per expected or not so now if you see that if i click this button you can see it's printing the incident uh, number with that uh, short description and then state 